Um, you know, like one example is, you know, Snowden's in Russia. You know why he's in Russia? Because the U.S. government forced him to be there by invalidating his passport when he tried to leave and by Joe Biden bullying every other country that he applied for asylum with. They trapped him in Russia. He never chose to be there. He was planning on transiting through. And then they used the fact that he's in Russia to say, oh, look, he's a traitor. Otherwise, why would he be in Russia? So there's really effective propaganda. So I don't blame the population. The people I blame are journalists. It is the job of journalists to defend the people who expose the truth. If you don't do that as a journalist, what is your fucking purpose? Why are you a journalist? And not only don't journalists care much about what's being done to Julian Assange or Edward Snowden, most of them, if you actually ask them and talk to them about it, will justify and defend the fact that they ought to be in prison. Because what they really are are servants of the government and not what they pretend to be. So Joe Biden was responsible for blocking his asylum to other countries? Yeah, Joe Biden and John Kerry. I mean, you know, I'm not, it's not like they were uniquely bad. I mean, they were carrying out the, the, the policy of the Obama administration, but it was Joe Biden who took the lead. He, the, one of the first things that he did was when Snowden left Hong Kong, he, the ticket that he had was Moscow, Havana, and then he was going to go to Ecuador where he was going to get asylum. And Joe Biden called the Cuban government and said, if you allow him safe passage, which they had already granted him, you're going to suffer consequences like you've never experienced from the U.S. government before. So they withdrew their safe passage guarantee. Um, and then he applied, you know, to countries like that, that frequently grant asylum to, to whistleblowers like Sweden, Finland, even Germany and France, where there were also a lot of revelations that were looked favor upon favorably because he was showing that those populations how the NSA was spying on them. And then at the last minute, um, his lawyers would get a call from the consulate of those countries and say, Joe Biden called and said that they'll start a trade war with us or they'll withdraw from this treaty or they'll do this or that um, if we grant asylum. And I'm sorry, we just can't. 